I'm here at work at 7.30 a.m. I leave at 5 p.m. In between my meetings, I answer messages, email, try to avoid my boss. One always has a boss. You have a boss. Your boss has a boss. There's politics the entire time. And sometimes you have a good boss, which I've had. And sometimes you have a Satan boss, like the boss I have now. We sent out a notice that said, the Brotherhood of Cubicle Cuties would like to have a Christmas party. And I got called in and he said, you can't start a union here. I'm just looking at him going, you should be focusing on the fact that we haven't delivered any work for two months. This industry is highly hit by mergers, which means significant layoffs. I've been through two of them. My mentality is quite different than the people who are 20 years older, the lifers. I have no real sense of loyalty because I know they have a business to run and they will lay me off if it's prudent. I accept that. But for people 15 years senior, they've given their life here. For a few measly bucks, you're tossing us aside. I'm like, get over it. It's a different world. There's no loyalty anymore. I don't perceive that anyone my age thinks they got hired here. They've got a job for life. What they feel is, all right, I'm going to get as much as I can from this company. Then I'm going to move and get more money. Jobs are not big enough for people. When you ask most people who they are, they define themselves by their jobs. I'm a doctor. I'm a radio announcer. I'm a carpenter. If someone asks me, I say, I'm Amanda McKetty. At certain points in time, I do things for a living.